one equals true. And this is that it's been more simple. We're doing the same way, but it was false. So the play won't be, won't be able to pick it again. Equals true. Good old copy and paste. Test that out. X. Let's, let me see why. We get more this dot text. This dot enable equals false. That takes this that enable. Let's see this shortcut, shortcut, shortcut work. They work it the long way. X zero's a first player, player one, two. That works. They should really copy and pasting all the time. Two. Three. See what we have. So X, X. That tab is getting a little bit annoying.
see that did anything. Just stop that. It's just a little bit annoying to me. Two more to go. I won't go to the final be done. Let's test this out. Okay, that was, was kind of weird. That's in a second. <coughs> you know, that was a weird kind of glitch. I see the problem. Thirty six button five. That was a problem. So every time we go to player to player two turn. Wow. Well luckily I got I caught that early. So as you see, player one and player two, player one, player two. Oh, X one. So we got point in our our code. The way I did it was uh, on my paper. Make sure to go to every button value and see which one, like this one, do here, 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 this one here, this one here, 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 and so on and so on. And what we're going to do is put it on to our game winning, our game winner function. I'm also saying the comment is
draw. Restart. All right. This one's gonna be a bunch of if statements. So if these three get at x zero zero, such and such play one or player two wins. This all all the way back and forth. Right, so if player parentheses. Team zero equals text equals X and BTN one text equals x bt in two equals x text Or BT zero text equals X. Copy that two more times. Ten four, ten eight, or ten one dot text. Equals X copy okay, just making sure I input it right. Four seven four BTN. Two text equals X copy. 